तव कथा तत्जीवन कविभिरीडित कलमशापह श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदात भुवि गृणंती भुरीदाजना भुवि गृणंती भुरीदा जना the morning scene at dakshineshwar is being explained in the gospel of shri ram krishna we are following that in the mo- in the meantime the morning service had begun in the temples of kali and radha kanta sounds of conch shell symbols were carried on the air the dakshineshwar setup is an unusual setup we have earlier seen the shakta shaiva vaishnava all the major denominations of hinduism are in one place with ganga flowing on their one side the advaitic kutia where the shri ram krishna took advaitic sanyasa then a little ahead the bell tree under which he did the tantric sadhanas 64 tantras he had practiced all this this place is a wonderful combination the unity of all religions in spiritual basis and with spiritual culmination in between we differ externally but the thread all are seeking god all are moving towards god in various ways so one said shakchakta shakti worship radha kanta temple the dwadash shivalingas and you see Shri Ram Krishna takes God in the sense of Shakti, Divine Mother. The one thing is the main important thing in holding on to Divine Mother or Shakti is that Shakti doesn't differ with the differences in denominations. Now, energy is interconvertible. energy doesn't have any limitations it belongs to this and doesn't belong to that when we come to the energy shakti it is one and same in different forms it is available in different forms it is manifesting now for example electricity through fan it is mechanical energy through bulb it is light energy through a heater the same electricity is manifesting heat in a refrigerator it is producing cold the different ways of manifestation of the same energy uh, and energy itself whatever now nuclear energy we can convert it to electrical energy and supply we can convert it to sound energy anything can be converted into any energy doesn't have any limitations but all other things have limitations suppose you say shakta shaiva vaishnava now the moment you say i am vaishnava there is limitation if i say i am a christian there is a limitation i don't belong to other when you say i am a shakti worshiper shakti is common whether it is vaishnavi shakti or shaiva shakti or tantric shakti whatever way shakti manifests there is no difference in shakti shakti is one common that pervades spirituality doesn't have any differences divine doesn't have differences the term divine 
divine is manifesting again as brahma vishnu maheshwara so many ways hmm. vishnu maheshwara all these durga so many aspects the consciousness is manifesting the consciousness the divine pure divine divine doesn't have in divine all differences dissolve in my divine i have bodily existence and i have spiritual existence in bodily existence i differ vastly from one person to another person in spiritual existence there is no difference in spirituality divinity and pure energy all differences dissolve and it is the source of all differences from that you can utilize in any form you want but in themselves there is no difference of any it is one non dual existence which is manifesting in dual many multifarious ways so here we see shakti temple is there radha kanta temple is there everywhere the worship has begun that is one thing we have to remember is when sri ram when you enter into dakshineshwar you will see the various ways in which all are calling the same god in radha kanta temple also worship is going on the supreme lord has the krishna and radha here kali there as shiva they if you go out there is a mosque outside they are calling on god in another way if you go ahead a little there is a church in christianity is calling on the same lord same god in a different way with different attitudes different understanding of god so you just is just awareness understanding now we are reading if you transport yourself to those days of that time you will see who oh, radha kanta temple morning as soon as morning all are calling on god even you can see birds also chirping simultaneously ganga water flowing breeze coming as if the every particle of this universe is calling on god and the same experience we used to have when we were in uh, on the banks of narmada and on banks of ganga as soon as it is evening all temples will have the sandhya aarti uh, mics put everywhere so many for all directions at a little gap for here and there the whole evening some bhajans are going up and chanting is going on oh it is so nice to see that all are calling on the divine the man wants to somehow link to the earth beyond here also morning services in the sounds of conch shells and cymbals were carried on air hmm. the conch shells cymbals uh, all these musical instruments you see the nahabat is there and then when the aarti is going on somebody will be beating on drums there the shaina will be going on in the in nahabat and this musical part hmm, fragrance of the incense sticks or dhuna they put then aarti performance and flower decorations these enhance this is i am trying to bring the nature into the temple and match with the nature bring the whatever pleases me in nature whatever is fulfills my heart what gives me pleasure which is not belonging to the normal instinctive life something beyond something un- understandable something at higher level of consciousness uh, that i want to bring just a scene in the nature just a moon and stars at night 
how much of joy it gives means you are disconnected from the normal life the monotony of the normal life and all this is moved to the side and then some awareness some joy actually i am dragging out the inner bliss outside inner peace outside to my mind now all the time during the day it is covered by the engagements in the just like children go for play they are busy with the play they have forgotten mother and house when the play ends they call on mother they rush to home like that in the evening in the morning the night we have slept morning getting up we are tuning ourselves these few things link us through the nature to the beyond fragrance of incense stick flower decorations they flower flower also they will be some are fragrant but mostly they are colorful they representing the nature and certain things like bilva bilva in bilva there is the sense of tyaga renunciation tulsi is a representation of love of god offer to vishnu krishna uh, tya bilva is tyaga swarupa i want to renounce i want to sacrifice for others my life has to either be sacrificed for others or for god so when i sacrifice life comes i want to give something i want to give up some bad habits i want to overcome the attractions of the world then bilva i want to love god i want to love humanity there the tulsi comes into picture so these are offered to god eh, to awaken love and sense of renunciation or sacrifice in our heart and other things add to the nature mm, conscious musical instruments incense stick and the colorful decorations all this add to the bringing us to the in tune with the nature the devotees came outside the room and saw the priests and were gathering flowers in the garden for the divine service services in the temple uh, we discussed about this collecting tem flowers and all from the nahabat floated the sweet melody of the musical instruments befitting the morning hours now but there is the shaina will be played uh, or flute and uh, other things but mostly there is a temple shaina which will be played in the early morning then some bhajans this that and all in the music through the musical instrument they are presented and small <coughs> drum also will be there with the shaina their own way of presenting two pairs of shainas one is just giving shruti other is varieties of things are being played and with the beatings of the drum hmm. morning and evening nabha services are there it is collective awareness now somebody is working in garden somebody is working in kitchen in the temple area itself somebody is sitting in the office various people now early in the morning he when it is evening it is time the nature has she is changing her clothes from day clothes to night so at that time the there is a hush in the nature and but we are busy with small works of the ashram or temples so at the time this small beautiful music going on somewhere calls our attention you will not understand it so easily so subtle it is we were walking in the remote places where ramakrishna sharda devi and vivekananda are almost unknown to people in the forest areas in the, of the narmada banks yeah we were in uh, um, vindhya hills vindhya hills we were going 
and we are a, passing through a small village like Ham, few hamlets there. And we saw, we heard Khandana, the evening Aarti going on. Khandana, we were surprised. The whole attention diverted. Means as if somebody is pulling us because it is so many days except we ourselves in the evening doing Sandhya Aarti and Khandana. We can't hear in the north. They have their own uh, Aarti's. Jaya Jagadish Hare. That one. Oh, very where it is put in the evening. But Khandana is a rare thing. And when it came, we were just, we were going somewhere where from this Khandana is coming. Then we turned and started going. We saw in the veranda one big picture of Thakur. We passed through the bhajans were going on of the ashram. We did not disturb or draw their attention. Just stood in front of the house, bowed down and went. So sometime, somewhere you will see that it clicks. That means these things which we read now or these things which we discuss now or these things that we witness somewhere. Suppose you are going to an ashram. For a few months or few days you stay there in the whole day. Then those things enter your conscious and unconscious minds because it touches the heart. Whatever touches heart will enter into the unconscious mind. And unknown to when everything is absent from there it manifests again. In dream it may come when subconscious is of the from unconscious it may manifest. Or somewhere lonely or going it is even in the evening in train or some on a walk hmm, over the hills we used to travel alone in the unknown areas. Then these things will slowly manifest as if somebody is singing, somebody is, we hear that sound, these sounds which we constantly hear from outside, flowing inside, there is nobody, but our, from the, our own unconscious, it manifests. Hmm. So melody, sweet melody of musical instruments befitting morning hours, Narendra and other devotees finished their morning duties and came to master. Small things, morning duties, we mean uh, the ablutions that we do in the morning, washing hands, feet and all that. And then some people have a habit to go when we are in the banks of Narmada or Ganga or some places, Ganga is flowing there. We go and offer the Arghya, Surya Arghya, Arghya to our Devatas and all. Just take a bowl of water or in a hand itself, make it a bowl and take water and offer. Om oh, Ayam Sarva Deva Devi Swarupaya Shri Ramakrishna Yaswaha, Om Surya Yaswaha, all this with which you are associated, we offer. These are all morning duties as if they make it. Mm. And then uh, after bath, sitting on the bank of river, doing japa, sandhya vandana, or singing one or two bhajans. These are all form the, what we call, we may say, the duties of morning, morning duties. came to the master with a sweet, sweet smile on lips. Sri Ramakrishna was standing on the northeast veranda close to his own room. This has a thing we have to remember because when we meditate on God, when we turn inward and dive within, Every day, morning and evening, especially 
those devotees who are initiated in the Ramakrishna Sampradaya, they are asked to do upasana morning and evening. We sit, slowly we draw our mind from all concerns of the world, drop away all things, turn inward and start moving towards the core of our existence where we imagine in the beginning a lotus, red lotus eight petal on which Sri Ramakrishna is sitting or our Ishta Devata, maybe Rama, maybe Krishna, maybe Durga, maybe Saraswati, maybe Lakshmi, anybody, any whatever you is Devata and as you approach First thing you observe is with great joy and love that Ishta Devata as if waiting for you when the time for children to come back home at that time mother will be standing in front of the door to see that child is coming back from school just to meet him at the gate to bring him inside. Mm. Then you can see mother feeling great joy, great peace in her heart. The same thing we see when we go inside, God is sitting like a mother waiting for her child. And when God, you are seeing God, He is Prasanna Mukha always. Mm. This is what, in especially those who meditate on Ishta Devata, we must remember this, how God is always blissful, always peaceful, always radiating the joy and peace. Hmm. With a sweet smile on his lips, Sri Ramakrishna was standing on the northeast veranda close to his room. Narendra. We noticed several sannyasis belonging to the sect of Nanak in the Panchavati. He, Narendra is telling master and others who have gathered there. <coughs> we noticed several sannyasis belong to the sect of Nanak in the Panchavati. They go the Panchavati is just a little away from the master's room. Uh, they are going, washing and all, taking bath and all they do and come back here. By passing through the Panchavati, they saw a few sadhus sitting there belonging to the Nanak Panth. Master, yes, they arrived here yesterday to Narendra. I did like to see you sitting together on a mat. See, the sadhus are sitting there in the Panchavati. Narendra is coming and giving the information to the master. Some sadhus of Nanak Pant are sitting there. Now, this sitting together, the sadhus of Nanak Pant, it is a, it is something they have renounced the world for sake of God and for sake of the welfare of humanity. Now, when they, Sri Ramakrishna has come with the same purpose to re-establish dharma on this earth and these are selected people, Narendra and others, uh, the youngsters who have come around the age of 18-19. So, this Sri Ramakrishna is foreseeing what is going to happen in future. The purpose is to be the same thing a day some other people will tell, oh I saw a group of people sitting in somewhere and they will be Narendra and others. The same history is going to repeat. This, the moment they come and say, uh, Sri Ramakrishna says, yes they have arrived here yesterday. You sit together. I want to see you sitting together on a mat. The same thing he is going to view that's going to happen in the future. Mm. 
Yes, they arrived here yesterday. I would like to see you all sitting together on the mat. As they say, sat there, the master looked at them with evident delight. The Narin is one of the predominant and most important character that is going to now Narin nobody within huge group where Girish Chandra Ghosh, uh, Kesho Sen, and these people are there who are cream of the society, topmost people. Narendra is a small boy. Uh, he doesn't have any except he is an advocate son uh, of some status. Otherwise, for them, they say small boy. But Sri Ramakrishna she is seeing him beyond all this. All these are great, but nothing compared to um, the Narendra. Because Narendra is going to transform the world. He is going to inculcate the highest spiritual life in others. He is going to present the pure spirituality and divinity independent of religions, the present whole trend is going to change. Now the, uh, compared to Narendra, these people are nothing but for, for, for them, Narendra is nothing now. But Sri Ramakrishna is feeling that great delight when they see, oh, this is what, uh, Sri Ramakrishna is seeing just a dawn for the sun to rise. That is the delight. As they sat there, Master looked at them with evident delight. He then began to talk with them. Narendra asked about spiritual discipline. Now, it is a... Narendra is like a seed that has been put into mud, soil and water. Sun is shining. It is bound to germinate and the germination has already begun. Now it wants to put out, project out the leaves that can survive in this world and give fruits and flowers to the world. Now, first survival of the plant begins with the projection of leaves. The capacity to capacity to take the necessities of sustenance and growth is within the seed. It has the program to project the root and push it inside the earth and slowly stand up with head up. This is sadhana. The spiritual discipline is how to enter into the spiritual world, how to sustain, how to produce, how to give. Though it is natural, there must be somebody who takes care and directs it. There must be a farmer who puts the seed into the ground, who sees that water doesn't get dried up. Now Sri Ramakrishna is taking this part of uh, where from the seed, as if the seed getting germinated is asking, who will give me water? How to get water here? Um, something like that. Now this is what we see in his asking about the spiritual disciplines. Om Niranjanam Nityamanantarupam Bhaktanukampa Dhritavikraham Vai Ishavataram Parameshamidyam Tam Ramakrishnam 
ಶಿರಸಾ ನಮಾಮ